Hi guys, for today's tear down, I am very happy to have this uh, huge vintage avionics test panel of Soviet manufacture. It was a one euro listing on eBay, but someone else did bid also and it ended at around 25 euros if I remember correctly. But it is looking super cool and I am really happy to have it. So it seems to be mostly uh, some kind of readout unit because there is only lights and indicators but no buttons, no switches, no controls, even no fuse. Uh, so we will have a detailed look at this. So on the front side you can see two big handles, big screws to mount it into some kind of rack six indicator dials and a whole bunch of little lights they are not just dummy lights they are uh, they have numbers in them well they are filters and they are either numbers or letters uh, and very nice uh, cool glass lens on the lights so i will zoom in for you But before I zoom in, just to show you what we have over here. Three enormous connectors. Oops. Okay. We start with the manufacturing plate. Modem PAU-54M. Serial number 4496, made in USSR, of course. So, about these indicators, uh, this, they are all looking more or less the same with little variations. They are quite weird, actually. I do not understand how they work because we have no uh, moving needle inside. It looks like you have a set of uh, rotating discs. Well, there is this kind of an adjustment here, but it does nothing except uh, turning a little bit one of the discs. So it is really strange. Uh, so this one on the top, it is the word for speed in Russian. Uh, this might be a variometer. It looks very much like a variometer. This says azimuth times 10, so it is a repeater units for uh, the main instrumentation of the aircraft, it seems. This one is uh, altitude, uh, course, and this one must be a tachometer for the uh, engine, from 0 to 100% of uh, maximum power of the engine. Then we have the lights. Object T, something like this. Poleta, it is a word for uh, flight. Regime, Poleta. Re, re, regime, regime of uh, flight. Kind of flight or something like this. And this uh, polysphera. Uh, Nakal, uh, pre-bore, this I do not know, and on the top uh, I have no ID, but you can see these uh, lights are super uh, nice indicators, and actually we have each time a little bulb inside, and this one for instance have uh, a little arrow in it. That I can demonstrate to you with white lead and uh, oops, like this. You can see little arrow. We will check uh, a few other ones randomly. Not every one of them because some of them are super tight so I, so I do not want to damage anything. Uh, let's say uh, one at the bottom here. Excuse me. This one. Oh, this one is, is still just a light. 
Or the, another one, they say a green one. This one says, uh, oops, this. So either you have a filter that makes uh, letters or symbols, or it is just uh, a plain light. Okay. Zoom on the big uh, connector for you. Uh, super, super large connector. 8 cm or something like this. Uh, big uh, silver plated pins, three of them with some uh, spider web still because it was, uh, this item was really super dirty when I got this. And I had to clean it a lot, but it is not completely done yet. And uh, the top and bottom covers are just uh, big uh, aluminium plates, which we are going to undo right now. As you can see, this thing is uh, too big for my bench, almost. So why I undo the screws? Make your guess what could we have in here. It is very heavy. It is, uh, is it full of electronics? I hope it is full of electronics. Cards everywhere. But I do not know. Does it have vacuum tubes? Is it just an empty box with wires? I do not think so because of the weight, obviously. Here you have an interesting uh, factory seal device. So I did remove the gunk of, out of it already to speed the video. But the bottom plate uh, still have, uh, it is filled with green gunk this time, not black. So I will have to move the thing around to show you all the contents because obviously uh, I am on zoom at the maximum on my camera and it is uh, 50 centimeters long 24 centimeters deep and uh, 24 of uh, height this thing around uh, 15 kilos I believe more so than 10 kilos, it is so. And luckily it is made of aluminium, if it was made of steel. Could be even uh, if you are quite insane. Excuse me, just uh, one screw remaining, I believe, yes. Okay, we are ready. So, the suspense is just uh, Terrible. Where to show you first this corner? I remove the cover and okay. Uh, so we mainly have six big units for the uh, indicators, 50 centimeters deep. Six times the same thing, apparently. You can get, see a little bit inside. Nice uh, Amberton material ring here. It is attached in the front with just three screws, so I will be able to remove one, I believe. You can see they each have their uh, individual connector. On the side here, a few relays, seven of them, wires under them. On the front, just the wires going to the uh, lights, nothing else. On the back, big loom of wires going to the connectors. And we have on this side here, a little point-to-point -point board with apparently resistors and diodes at the bottom. And it seems to be all for the electronics. A few more resistors here in the front, but nothing Super interesting. So it is quite a disappointment actually. I was expecting a lot of electronics in it. Apparently not. But at least uh, we can have a look inside uh, these units. So even if I did, uh, well, we will not do it, but if I did uh, decide to scrap it, I would be able to retrieve uh, nice connectors, relays, on the very nice uh, lights on the front, but 
given how cold it looks, I will keep it in my collection. It is just a claim, it is uh, so big. So I will undo one of these indicators in order to be able to have a better look at it. Will it cooperate for the disassembly? I'm not. Uh, it is quite a good question. I need to find a good screwdriver for the screws here. Okay, it is not too tight. And about the connector. I will, this one seems to be a very easier one to access. So I will undo this one. Anyways, I can see they are all super uh, similar. So, okay, it is not even tight, this thing. So when you undo these Russian connectors, you always want to turn a little bit, pull a little bit, turn a little bit, pull a little bit until it goes off. Apparently, uh, EV silver coating on these pins. We put this aside, then, okay, it is not too tight, which is good. In fact, I did already uh, check which one was the easiest to uh, unscrew from the front, but this one was uh, quite uh, not stuck, so I did select randomly this one. Just three screws. So usually uh, aircraft instruments are uh, four screws mounts, but here we have just three screws. This one seems super long. And these are all the same. Okay, and luckily, hopefully, fully at least, yes, it, it is coming off with the last screw. So we will be able to have a look at this. Scones, 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 quite easily, so we will check it immediately. So here is what we have, better look for you at the dial. Here is uh, what seems to be the front disc with uh, numbers on it, in plastic, or plexiglass, and behind it I see a disc with uh, cutouts. So I do not know how this is supposed to work. Super weird, big mounting here, as you can see, with four screws. This uh, button ring and the back cover. So, for the back cover, I guess I have to undo the screws around first. Not sure how many of them we have. One, two of them, okay. It will allow us to have a better look inside. I am very curious to see if it will come off or not. By the way, we have a model on the serial number written here on the back, and written even with a W5, which is matching the number that was written on the plug. Okay. So this is coming off. So, what do we have? Apparently, a whole bunch of solenoids. One, two, three, four, five on the two here. Actuating things. So this one seems to be. So this one uh, is actuating a disc here. As you can see, the other one on the back is actuating this. But it is just uh, 
solenoid so it cannot go any further than this. It is a very slight uh, displacement. Super uh, weird thing. On the other ones, can I access? Ah. Okay, ah, I see. Look. Some of the stripes here will align and uh, become black because you will see through them or something like this. It is with one of the uh, other solenoids. If I touch another one, this one is going no doing nothing, visible at least. This one moving yet another uh, disk inside it seems. This is doing something different. Well, it is the first time I see such a device and really I would like to understand what it is all about and how you are supposed to read this thing. Because at least if you had only one stripe being uh, black and black at, the, at one time, I would understand. So maybe if you had to add uh, several of them, actually it will happen. It is super, super, super weird. So uh, I will not take it apart any further because I do not want to mess it up. And anyways, there is not much to see just uh, mechanical uh, links going to the maybe we have yes okay ah, i see we have little bulbs in here actually we have little bulbs uh, which seem to be mounted on this uh, piece here so really really well i will not do the front piece at least if it is not stuck too much and if it is uh, collaborating with me we will see long screws here oops this one is completely stuck and this one also so i do not want to do any damage to this thing sadly and this one is stuck, okay. So only one screw was not stuck. So I am reassigning this. Anyways, I do not expect much uh, things to be in this area, just uh, some kind of mechanical links. With a few uh, disks. But uh, really, it is uh, one of a kind of device. I did never see anything like this before quite amazing so yes we'll have uh, four little bulbs you can see it is written here l1 l2 for lamp lampy in russian even so we we will have some light shining here through the uh, cutouts and uh, apparently according to the combination of uh, magnets electromagnets here you will have uh, a certain alignment happening and it will uh, show you uh, maybe only one uh, number at, at a time really weird so about the manufacturing date do we have any information uh, i am checking not here let me check on the relays so the manufacturing date on the relays says 1971 so it is a early 70s design. Really, really weird stuff. I am uh, quite happy with uh, this eBay find actually. Uh, super cool looking. I would love to put it on display in my living room, but uh, it might make some problems with a woman acceptance factor. So. Thanks for watching, bye bye. Whoops. Again, thanks for watching, bye bye.